everyone and welcome to today's maths class. So in today's class we are going to start with the first chapter that is numbers up to 10,000. Okay so you'll have studied three digit numbers so far. So we are going to study four digit numbers and how do you get 10,000. Okay so we'll study numbers up till 10,000 today. So first of all what have you learnt in three digit numbers? Okay so three digit numbers have three places hundreds tens and ones okay so three digit numbers have hundreds tens and ones so if you look at this example here we have hundreds tens and ones correct so how many ones do we have we have four ones and tens are how many we have one strip of tens so in one strip of tens you have ten ones correct so ten ones make one ten and here we have one hundred right so uh we have a strip of 100 so 100 in 100 strips how many ones will you have you'll have 100 ones or you will have 10 tens okay 10 tens make 100 all right so you have 100 plus 110 plus 4 ones which gives you the number 114 all right so here look at this example what is this number now how many ones do we have we have five ones one two three four and five so we'll write five over here and how many tens do we have we have one two three tens okay which is 30 and how many hundreds do we have we have 100 and this is 200 so 200 plus 30 plus 5 which is 235 okay one more example so how many ones are there we have zero ones tens we have three tens and hundreds we have three hundreds so that is 300 plus 30 330 okay so this is 330 so this is what is uh three digit numbers so in three digit numbers we have three places ones tens hundreds correct so now we'll see a few questions on what you'll have learned in second standard okay okay so here the i look back part which is there on page number one so it is a quick revision of whatever you have learnt in numbers till now okay so first one first question is write the following as hundreds tens and ones okay so they've given you numbers you have to write those numbers in or digits in their places so 459 what is the digit in hundreds place here four is the digit in hundreds place correct so the digit in hundreds place is four then tens place which is the digit in tens place now it is five and then ones place we have the digit nine so 459 then 360 so in hundreds place we have three in tens place i have six and in ones place i have zero so three hundreds six tens and zero ones make 360 okay c1 504 so which digit is there in hundreds place we have 5 in hundreds place then in tens place we have 0 and in ones place we have 4 so this is 504 and the last one 999 so in hundreds place i have 9 in tens place also i have 9 and in ones place i have 9 okay so 999 so this was question number 1 now coming to question number 2 so here they have told write in expanded form and as they have shown for one okay they have done one we have to do it the similar way so 534 they have written it as 500 plus 3 tens plus 4 1 so 586 so how many hundreds we have we have 500 correct plus how many tens are there we have 8 tens plus how many ones we have 6 ones so 500 plus 8 tens plus 6 ones gives you 500 plus 80 plus 6 which is 586. Okay, the next number we have 729. So how many hundreds we have? We have 7 hundreds. Then we have 2 tens plus how many ones do we have? We have 9 ones. Okay. So that will give you 700 plus 20 plus 9 which is 729. 
then 218 so similarly here how many hundreds we have we have 200 plus 110 plus 8 ones okay so we have 200 plus 110 plus 8 ones so that is 200 plus 10 plus 8 which is 218 next one we have 675 so here we have 600 correct so we have 600 then we have seven tens okay and how many ones do we have we have five ones so that is six hundred plus seventy plus five then last one we have the number 498 so we have four hundreds over here correct plus nine tens plus eight ones Okay, so that is 400 plus 90 plus 8. Alright, so this was a uh, revision on what you have learned for three digit numbers. Now, uh, we will move on with today's topic that is numbers up to 10,000. Okay, so let's see what are four digit numbers now. Okay, so four digit numbers. What are four digit numbers? When you add one to the smallest, uh, greatest three digit number you get the smallest four digit number so which is the greatest three digit number greatest three digit number is 999 okay so when i add one to it i get 1000 okay which is the smallest four digit number so as you go on counting you'll get the further four digit numbers so here's an example here we have four ones correct we have 110 we have one hundreds and thousands. How many thousands do we have? One thousand we have. Correct. So now here ten hundreds will make a thousand. Okay. So ten ones make one ten. Ten tens make one hundred. And ten hundred makes one thousand. Okay. So the number here is one thousand one hundred and fourteen. So these are what are called as four digit numbers. Now how do you get ten thousand? When you add one to the smallest greatest four digit number you'll get ten thousand okay so what is the greatest four digit number it is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine so when i add one to it i'll get ten thousand which is the greatest which is the smallest five digit number okay ten thousand is the smallest five digit number okay so if you look at page number two in your book, they have told 999 is the greatest three digit number. So on adding one to 999, you get the smallest four digit number that is 1000. Okay, it is read as 1000. Then 999 plus one is 1000. So there are 10 hundreds in 1000. Then reading numbers, how do you read numbers? First you read the digit in the thousands place, then the digit at the hundreds place. And finally, the tens and ones are read together. So you read thousands place, you read the digit in hundreds place, then th tens and ones are read together. So for example, here we have 3471. So what is the digit in thousands place? We have 3. So that is 3000. Then in hundreds place, we have 4, which is 400. And 7 and 1, when you read together, it becomes 71. So the number is 3470. One. All right. So there are other examples here. First one is one two zero three, which is one thousand two hundred three. Since tens place is zero, we just read it as three. Okay. Then we have two five two six two two. Okay. We have two six two two, which is two thousand six hundred twenty two. Okay. Then five zero six nine. So that is five thousand sixty nine. Okay. Hundreds place is zero, so we'll not write that. We'll just write. 5069 then 8158 okay that is 8158 and last we have 10,000 okay it is read as 10,000 now here is an exercise of counting forward okay so how will you count forward now so if you look at the first example you have 1000 1001 then after that you have 1002 1003 1004 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, and 1010. So they are writing the next numbers over here. So here we have 4657, correct? 4657. So after that you will have 
फोर सिक्स फाइव एट करेक्ट आफ्टर फाइव सेवन यू विल हैव फाइव एट सो फोर फोर सिक्स फाइव एट देन आफ्टर फाइव एट वॉट यूल हैव यूल हैव फोर सिक्स फाइव नाइन देन विल हैव फोर सिक्स सिक्स जीरो ओके सो आफ्टर फिफ्टी नाइन यू गेट सिक्सटी करेक्ट देन विल हैव फोर सिक्स सिक्स वन देन नेक्स्ट नंबर विल बी फोर सिक्स सिक्स टू देन वी हैव फोर डबल सिक्स थ्री देन विल हैव फोर सिक्स सिक्स फोर देन फोर सिक्स सिक्स फाइव एंड फोर ट्रिपल सिक्स दैट इज फोर थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स ओके सो नेक्स्ट नंबर इज फाइव फाइव टू एट सो सिमिलरली यू ऑल कंटिन्यू डूइंग दिस फॉर होमवर्क ओके काउंट फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव ट्वेंटी एट नाउ योर यू हैव टू काउंट बैकवर्ड्स ओके सो टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटी वन सो बिफोर दैट यूल हैव टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटी दैन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटी नाइन सिक्सटी एट सो ऑन ओके सो फर्स्ट वन एट थाउजेंड सिक्स फिफ्टी टू सो बिफोर दैट यू विल हैव एट थाउजेंड सिक्स फिफ्टी वन देन बिफोर दैट यू विल हैव एट थाउजेंड सिक्स फिफ्टी ओके देन यू विल हैव एट थाउजेंड ना बिफोर फिफ्टी यू हैव फोर्टी नाइन करेक्ट सो सिक्स फोर्टी नाइन देन एट सिक्स फोर एट देन यू विल हैव एट सिक्स फोर सेवन योर एट सिक्स फोर सिक्स देन वी हैव एट सिक्स फोर फाइव ओके देन एट सिक्स फोर फोर एंड एट सिक्स फोर थ्री ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू काउट बैकवर्ड सिमिलरली डू फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन ऑल्सो थ्री थाउजेंड वन सेवेंटी फोर सो यू हैव टू काउंट बैकवर्ड्स हेयर ऑल्सो ओके नाउ वॉट विल डू इज विल डू माई प्रैक्टिस टाइम वन ओके सो हेयर दे टोल्ड राइट दीज नंबर्स इन वर्ड्स ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट एंड डू दैट नाउ so first one is one three six five so how will you write it in words it will be one thousand three hundred sixty five okay it will be one thousand three hundred sixty five now similarly next one what is the next number six seven nine five so that will be six thousand seven hundred ninety five Okay, six thousand seven hundred ninety-five. Then two one zero four. So zero five. How will you write this in words? It will be two thousand one hundred five. Okay, two thousand one hundred five because tens place is zero. Then triple nine zero. That is nine thousand nine hundred nine ninety. Okay, it will be nine thousand nine hundred. Ninety one's place is zero. Then two one five one. Okay, so that will be two thousand one hundred fifty one. Okay, two thousand one hundred fifty one. Now similarly, you will do for F G N H. Okay, write the number names for the last three questions. Okay. Then now we'll move on to question number two. Okay, so here they have told write in. Numeral. So they have given you in words. You have to write these numbers in numerals. So first is one thousand three hundred ten. So one thousand three hundred ten. Okay. So one three one zero. Then six thousand ninety four. Six thousand. Now they have not given any hundred. So it will be zero and ninety four. So six zero nine four. Then two thousand four hundred forty five. So we have two thousand hundreds place. We have four. And forty five, so two double four five. Okay, then five thousand six hundred thirteen. So five thousand six hundred thirteen. So five six one three. Then nine thousand four hundred sixty seven. So nine thousand four hundred sixty seven nine four six seven. Next one, seven thousand one hundred and fifty. So that will be seven one five zero. Okay. Then two thousand four hundred ninety nine. So two thousand four hundred ninety nine. Two four double nine. Then we have two thousand six hundred twelve. So two six one two. Okay. So these are the answers for question number two. Write in numerals. Okay. So once you copy it down, we'll move it to the move to the third question. So third question here is to fill in the missing numbers. 
okay so fill in the missing numbers now we have one two four nine right and uh, then the last two numbers are one two five two and one two five three so the numbers are increasing by one so after four nine we'll have five zero so one two five zero then one two five one then here again numbers are increasing right eight one nine six we have eight one nine eight we have so this will be eight one nine seven then eight one nine eight then we have eight one nine nine then after ninety nine we have hundred so this becomes eight thousand two hundred okay then one two three eight we have here so next number will be one thousand two thirty nine then we'll have one thousand two hundred and forty we have one thousand two forty one one thousand two forty two okay so d one you all try to do similarly then they have just given you one number in between seven ninety one. One thousand seven ninety one. So that before one thousand seven ninety one, you'll have one thousand seven ninety, and before that you'll have one thousand seven eighty nine. So after seven ninety nine ninety one, what you'll have one thousand seven ninety two, and one thousand seven hundred and ninety three. Okay. So this is how we all uh, fill in the missing numbers. Look at what is the number before and after the blank, and you can. Fill it, okay. So do D F G H H on your own, okay. Try to do it for your homework. The next question four here we have count forward and write the next five numbers, correct? So we have eight thousand nine ninety six. So since we are counting forward, we'll write, we'll add one every time. So eight double nine seven, then eight double nine eight, then eight triple nine. Then after nine ninety nine will have thousand, so this becomes nine thousand, and this will be nine thousand one. Okay. Then next one three four eight five. So next will be three four eight six. Then we have three four eight seven. So three four eight eight. Then we have three four eight nine. And then three four nine zero. Okay. So now similarly do the question. C and D, okay. Now counting backwards. So we saw how to do counting backwards also, right? So three one eight seven. So before that we'll have three one eight six. Then we'll have three one eight five over here. Then we'll have three one eight four. Okay. Then three one eight three. And then three one eight two. Okay, so now we have five one six seven. So before that, we'll have five one six six, five one six five, five one six four, five, five one six three, and last will be five one six two. Okay, so again, last two C and D are for homework. Okay, so this was uh, counting forward backward. Missing numbers and how to read uh, the given numbers, write the number names also, and how to write the numbers in numerals. Okay, so in the next class, we'll learn what are place value and face value. Okay, so I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.